The Environment Award. The Environment Award is awarded to a youth who is committed to improving the environment and reducing environmental degradation. The nominee will have achieved results and made the world a little greener. Cole Dewis. For the last eight years, youth volunteers from Youth Central have been removing invasive plants from the Weasel Head, one of the most biodiverse and beautiful natural areas in Calgary. Preserving this area of Glenmore Park depends on the efforts of many volunteers. Over 14,000 non-native shrubs have been removed. If allowed to spread unchecked, these species would displace native vegetation. This would reduce biodiversity, but also affect the erosion patterns and the ecology of the area. But removing these plants is not an easy task. They can be up to three meters tall and are often in difficult and awkward areas to reach. It can be a long trek through thick vegetation to get to the weeding site, all while carrying tools. Cole attended a weeding workshop at Weaselhead in 2018 and impressed staff with the natural ease he embodied while working in these challenging conditions. With a quiet and uncomplaining disposition, he was a very effective and diligent worker. Throughout 2018, Cole continued to volunteer at Weaselhead to remove invasive species and impress the volunteer leaders with his effort and commitment. After gaining experience and developing his skill, in 2019, Cole began taking the time to help other volunteers. In an easy and friendly manner, he would show new volunteers what to do. Weaselhead volunteer leaders felt that Cole was a real asset to the group and agreed that his contribution to their invasive plant program is certainly worthy of recognition. Kayla Newman. Kayla is and has always been extremely passionate about the environment, human health, and the integrity of our ecosystems. Kayla spends most of her free time either outside or researching topics such as food security, climate mitigation adaptation technology, and biodiversity threats in the Bow Valley. Kayla believes that she can make real change and speaks about the need for youth to be involved in real decision-making processes regarding policy, design, or even architectural plans. When youth are at the table, adults have to be more accountable to youth and to the environment. Kayla is focused on creating healthy, vibrant, sustainable communities right here in Alberta. In recent months, Kayla has publicly spoken about green building policy, pipeline disputes, carbon taxes, and education policy. She has grown her confidence by taking risks and letting herself be heard by a wider audience. Her success in these areas has enabled her to take on more leadership opportunities, including motivating young people. Kayla's experience as a young environmental leader in Alberta has allowed her to speak at various conferences in the past year. The Alberta Sustainable Building Symposium, the Alberta Ecotrust Conference, the Canadian Rockies Youth Summit, and the Alberta Recharge Environmental Education Conference. At these events, Kayla holds her own in discussions with any professional in the industry. Kayla hopes that people will see how environmental conservation, social justice, and human health all intersect. She wants people to understand how their choices impact not only the environment, but their health and their families. Priya Mignot. Priya is impassioned and motivated about protecting the environment every day because she recognizes the value of the natural world around her. She sees how we coexist with nature and is concerned about environmental and social justice issues. Priya cares about our planet and is inspired to work towards a cleaner, better future for all of us. Priya has helped with implementing environmental solutions into her community and spends at least five to six hours a week on different extracurricular environmental projects. About three years ago, Priya joined the Permaculture Calgary Guild Board as the social media coordinator. Priya has become more compassionate and has developed her skills as a leader. She instills a sense of hope for the future by speaking at different summits, workshops, and strikes. Priya started the youth-led non-profit Earth Guardians YYC, e.g. YYC, with a mission to inspire young people to become environmental stewards in their communities and provide them with the tools they need to achieve their goals. Priya and those in her nonprofit are designing a project called the Flower of Waste, which is a massive wild rose sculpture made out of single-use plastic bags. This project will raise awareness about single-use plastics and recycling and will be presented to Calgary schools on ways youth can help reduce their environmental footprint.